Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll take a look at how to join a table with itself and uh, get some useful information. So as usual, I begin with my customers.db in my SQLite 3, uh, in this uh, SQLite 3 My Data folder. I want to just take a quick look at the data in Excel first so that we get an idea. So as you know, there are three tables, the customers table, the products table, and the customers products table. So we are going to try and join the products table with itself. So uh, the reason we want to do that is we want to figure out, we want to list out all the part numbers that are located in the same city. So if you take a look at all the parts, there's only Seattle, which is common for more than uh, one part number. So that's P1 and P5. So I'd like to get a result that looks like P1 and P5 because those two parts are in the same city. So let's see how to use a join, self join, that is a join of a table with itself to do that. So as before, I'm just typing the command cmd function and I'm going to start the SQLite. And take a look at the schema. You have customers, products and customer products. So for the products, um, you could do something like uh, select let us say PNO, that's what you want. And PNO, that is, um, you want both those fields to be the product numbers. But I want, I'm just going to call this A.PNO and I'm, I'm going to call this B.PNO. Just uh, bear with me for a second and the reason will become clear. And I'm also going to put A.City, B.City, just for the sake of information. And now next I'm going to say from, I'm going to use the same table twice. So I'm going to say products, A comma products B. So that means what I'm doing here is I'm calling the same table products as A and I'm calling the same table products as B in this query here. And that's where the A and B come from. So um, this is just my way of uh, letting SQLite know that the P number should be taken from two different tables, table A and table B, and likewise the city also should be taken from two different tables. Um, so I do this here. So now what it will do, what SQLite will do is it will take the products table and join it with products table again. Supposing I just ran this, okay, supposing I just ran this. So now I'm gonna get all possible combinations of tables of uh, parts with each other, even if there is no uh, connection, if, if there is no common city between the two parts. So to prevent this from happening, I'll modify my query a little bit. So I'm gonna say select and from product say product B, where a.city equals b.city. And now I ensure that the city is common between the two uh, for, for the two parts. Uh, so for example, rows like Atlanta and Seattle will not be selected because you want to make sure the city is the same. So supposing I run this, okay. It's a little better, but not really uh, as good as we want because you can see here, so P1 and P1 is a record here that says Seattle and Seattle and that is not something we want because it says something trivial. It says the part P1 is in Seattle and the part P1 is in Seattle. So what we want is something like P5 and P1. Now this is saying something new or even this one, P1 and P5. This is saying something new in that P1 is different from P5 and they are in the same city. So I want to filter out the trivial cases. So let's say, where city a dot city is b dot city and a dot pno is not equals b dot pno okay and now we have something even better than the previous one we only have p1 and p5 but it's getting repeated twice and the reason is because we said the part numbers should be different but then we get P1 and P5 and we also get its reverse, which we, don't re which we don't need because that's a repetition. So to prevent that from happening, we can do something like this. Uh, and uh, instead of saying 
not equals, we can say P, A dot PNO is less than B dot PNO. And I can do that. And now I get exactly what I'm looking for. I'm getting an unrepeated list of products, product pairs, such that um, each product in that pair is in the same city. So this is a simple illustration of a self-join. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.